today I'm going on a blind date and I have no idea what to expect. When it comes to my tattoos, men like to think of me more as a fantasy most of the time. I'm looking to find someone to accept me for who I am, my tattoos, everything about me. I also do adult entertainment. Would you ever let me tattoo you? Um. My name? Shalawam, Shalawam, Kahala, Yahawa, Bahashim, Yahawa Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. Um, that's giving all praise to the Most High in the name of the Only Begotten Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. My name is Ibar from the Prophets in Babylon camp down here in Tampa, Florida, and I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of the Great Millstone who, who teach him real well. Peace and salutations to the whole full of scattered abroad. And real quick, on my lunch break or whatever, what I'm not I want to uh, do this video, you know, um, I, like, I, like I advise the brothers in my camp, order those brothers to do videos concerning the tattoos. You know, at the elder post, the hard put 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 out that um that 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 uh order for 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 the, for the, for the for brothers to do that. You know, so I figured this is going to be my little partake on it. And it's funny because I was just watching um uh episode of uh Fresh and Fit the other day, and I saw this woman on there, and then all of a sudden she popped up on my on, on my Snapchat. You know, telling her little story or whatever. But this is a monstrosity, man. Okay, absolute monstrosity. And to, in this video, I want to go into tattoos and modifications and how they are evil and wicked, man. All right. Now, you saw she's she's going on a date with some Jake. You know, she asked the Jake. First thing she thinks she asked the Jake was, um, will she will, will he let her tattoo him? OK, so you got to stay away from these heathen women. OK, these monsters. OK, because all they're going to do is destroy you, man. And Jake, if you don't know no better, what you saw, you had a bald head. If you don't know who his power is, you know, he he he, he probably going to think about it, man. But this is um first Corinthians chapter three, verse sixteen. It says, Know ye not that ye are the temple of, of the most high, and that the spirit of the most high dwelleth in you? So we are temples of the most high, and his spirit dwell in us. Now, um this is you know directly specifically to the Israelites, you so called here Negroes, Hispanics, Native Indians. Okay, you are the temples of the most high. You know, these other nations they're just, you know, uh temples. Okay. Um um, dump houses or barnyards or something But we are actual temples of the most high Okay and it says if any man defile The temple of the most high Him shall the most high destroy For the temple of the most high is holy Which temple ye are Now where holy goes into separate I mean this is like not like, not like in, 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 in any building man Or any temple You know like certain you know, Even you know certain buildings you know If you get caught you know Um putting graffiti on them or vandalizing them you know d d destroying certain buildings you will get arrested man okay they will lock you up okay well the same thing with the most high he, he gave us a temple for our spirit and the temple for your spirit is your body okay that the, 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 these bodies are vessels that hold our spirit okay so that so that's like a house for your spirit and you cannot you know just do what you want with that house okay the lord say that that we are bought with we are bought with a price Okay, so we belong to him. He created us. We these are not our own bodies. Like he can gave it to you, he can take it away. It says, if any man defile the temple of the Most High, him shall the Most High destroy. For the temple of the Most High is holy, which temple ye are. So just like if you see a church, you know, uh, 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 so to speak, if you see a church, you know, you're not gonna go over there and write your name on that church, or you know, draw, you know, butterflies and moths, or you know, weird words and. You know, Pikachu's on no damn um on on on, 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 on no church. You 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 would know that if you did that, you know that you know that there's gonna be a punishment for that, and you know the Most High is not with that. So the same thing with our bodies, man. But you see this woman, you know, she has you know torn her body up, and that black stuff in her eyes. That's, ta that's tattoo ink inside of her eyes. And it's funny because I just did a video on this not too long ago, but that's tattoo ink inside her eyes, man. Okay. And people, people, people do that too. They tap, tattoo their eyeballs, they tattoo their tongues, you know. So we, so we coming into a time where, you know, um, the Lord's gonna start putting people, you people to death, man, in, 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 in miraculous ways, and it's, and, and especially if you are in this vibration. It says, um, let no man deceive himself. If any man among you seemeth to be wise in this world, let him become a fool. That he may be wise so we got to come out of the ways of this world man if you think you're wise in this world if you, if, you, if you think you have some knowledge according to this world you must become a fool for your haobashim yaw shai in order to gain true wisdom okay wow
why is it now why isn't it playing? Okay, well, you know, we ain't gotta play. All praises. Call Ayo Bashim Shai. That's the spirit of Hobashim Shai. Ain't what they saying was not important, no way. I, I didn't come on here for the um the audio. I came on here for 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 the visual of her pic uh, 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 of this you know, look look at the eyebrows, what's going on? But you see her teeth, she put, you know, things she got some modifications done over the teeth, her ears, the gauges. Okay, all this stuff is wickedness, man. Oh, this is wickedness. And the Lord, if you you know, if 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 the Lord was to come back, you know, and you looking like this, he is not going to he he is not going to be able to identify with you. Okay, you are a a a, a um um a damn uh, a a damn product of Babylon at that point, you know. Leviticus chapter nineteen, verse twenty eight. It says, "Ye shall not make any cuttings in your flesh." For the dead, nor print any marks upon you. So when you see tattoos, you are printing marks upon you, man. And listen, man, we have tattoos because we was in a world we didn't know any better. Okay, and I and I regret every fucking tattoo I got, man. I tell people all the time, man. Like somebody tell me, well, I want to get it. Like, don't do it, man. You, man, you gonna regret it. I'm, I sound like an old lady nowadays. Oh, you know how they used to say, um, oh, if you get a tattoo, what, uh, what happens if you get old? You get all wrinkly. I be I, I be finding myself saying that shit now, man, to people because. Hey man, really, you know, hey man, tattoos are just a waste of time, man. You know, it's a waste of time and um, it's not necessary. Okay, if you want to be artistic, go, uh, you know, draw on some paper or something, man. You know, go paint a canvas, but don't paint your body with with, with, with markings. And like I said, this is specifically to you Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Hispanics, Native Indians. You heathens can do what the fuck you please because you're going to be destroyed anyways. It says, "Ye shall not make any cuttings in your flesh for the dead." This is this is for the dead, man. You know. This right here is not the the spirit of a living, uh, uh, breathing, you know, uh, a, 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 a spiritual uh, um, creature, man. Okay, this is the spirit of somebody that's you know seeking death, whether whether it's knowingly or unknowingly, consciously or subconsciously. You're seeking death. It says, nor print any marks upon you. I am Yahweh, the Lord Yahweh, warned us of printing any marks upon us, man. You know. Okay, and just be print marks upon you doing what you want to do, you know, thinking that you can just, you know, um, do with your body what you want because you think it's your body, and it's not, man. Okay, it's not your body. The Lord gave it to you, and like I said, He can take it away. All right, Leviticus um, 21 and 5 it says, You shall not make baldness upon their head, neither shall they shave off the corners of their beard. So I'm going to go back to, 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 to this damn Jake. Where can I find him at? There you go. You got to right up with the baldness, man. So, you know, now this is besides the point, but just because just that scripture's in there, I got I to gotta show this guy. You know, showing you that he's falling, you know, heathen, because at least he got a beard. It says, Neither shall you shave the corners of your beard, nor make any cuttings into your flesh. So, you can't make any cuts into your flesh, man. And this right here is a cutting into your flesh. You know, she, 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 look at her earrings. She got the gauges. You're not supposed to do the gauges. All those b b body modifications, man. That's wickedness, man. Okay, that's wickedness, man. You can't be gauging your ears. You can pierce your ears, but you cannot gauge your ears. Meaning pulling the flesh, you know, apart, you know, stretching the flesh out, and then having these, you know, that shit is that shit is, that shit is disgusting, man. Okay, the Lord said that um, um, you know, we are His um. So like yeah. We 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 are the temples of the Most High. Okay, so He don't want His temples looking like you know anything. It says, um, this is a uh, first Corinthians chapter six. It says, verse 19, what know ye not that your body is a temple of the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit, Salakia, the Holy Spirit. Which is in you. The Holy Spirit is in is in is, is in us, man. We have this where we have this truth, we have this understanding. Which ye have so like yeah, and you which ye have of the most high. And you are not your own. You see, so the Holy Spirit that we have is of the most high. And we are not our own, man. We even us going out to camp, you know, we don't have no choice but to go out to camp, man. The scripture says the Lord said, Make your bodies a living sacrifice, you know. So these aren't our own bodies. We can't just do what we want with these bodies and do what we please, man. And I don't know if you've heard she says that she make, you know, adult content, too. 
So this is a total monster, man. But this is that do as thou wilt spirit. You know, and this is what that spirit, that vibration creates, man. When you have no standards, when you have no type of lifestyle or, 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 or um heritage and culture, you, you just do whatever and, and you don't really realize you're destroying yourself. On, on that Fresh and uh, Fit podcast, she said she have over 500 bodies, man. This woman right here has, has slept with over 500 men. Probably a thousand. Okay, I believe that podcast was like a couple, a couple years, a couple months old. So by now it's probably a thousand, man. You know, and then what, what does America do? They they promote shit like this, man. You know, they promote shit like this. It says, "Know ye what? Know ye not that your it's quote? Well, hold on, bring this back. What question mark? What you you don't know? Know ye not that your body is the temple of the most of the of the Holy Spirit, which is in you, which ye have of the holy of the Most High." And ye are not your own. You can't just do what you want with your body. For ye are bought with a price. The Lord came on, 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 on this earth, walked this earth, and died in, 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 in the likeness of flesh, and in, in a fleshly body to, 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 for us, man, for our sins. So you got to understand that tattooing and body modifications, that is a sin. And if you're doing that, you are, you know, uh, 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 go, going off, man. And I'm saying something, man. Any tattoo I fucking have, man. I, I, you know, I think about this all the time. A lot of tattoos I have, I got them because I was influenced to get them by Edomites, man. You know, whether whether it was a, a, a best friend Edomite I had or a damn girlfriend Edomite I had, you know, a lot of my tattoos, you know, came from inspiration of fucking devils. Okay. What know ye not that your body is is a temple of the of the Holy Spirit, which is in you, which ye have of the Most High, and ye. And ye are not your own, for ye are bought with a price. Therefore, glorify the Most High in your body. And glorify the Most High in your body, man. Not yourself, okay? Scripture says in the, in, 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 in the end times, they shall become lovers of their own selves. That's what this is. You, you are a lover of your own self. You're going to destroy your body. And they call this love, man. This shit ain't love, man. I could, I could never do this to myself, man. It says, therefore, glorify... <gasps> Lucky the most high in your body and in your spirit, which are the most high, okay. The powers, Yahweh by Shimao Shai's. So, we are to glorify our, um, the most high and his only begotten son in our bodies, man. Okay, when people look at you, you're supposed to be an example of righteousness, man. Okay, but according to this world, you know, the, hey, amen, they, they'll promote all types, all types of madness, man, like this right here. They gave her as a platform, man. She's making a lot of money right now for, 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 for shit like this. Okay? Showing you how the Most High is not dealing with this type of behavior. He's not, he's, not, he's not dealing with this type of spirit. If you're in this type of spirit, you better repent or the Lord is going to kill you, man. You can tell she might have been a very, you know, a, a pretty attractive woman before all that madness, man. But now, hell nah, man. Okay? It, ha it has to be destroyed. <laughs> okay? It has to be destroyed. Scripture says how um I'm trying to see um how it goes into how um, know you not that you shall not inherit the, the, uh, the, the unrighteousness shall not, shall not inherit the kingdom of the Most High and it said abusers of um oh yeah here we go First Corinthians chapter six verse nine know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of the Most High now this is a heathen so she ain't getting there in no way but this is for you Israelites it says be not deceived. For neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind. And this is what Jake, you know, do, you know, and, and, and you know, that's pretty much going into, you know, um, uh, uh, being a mo, you know. But um, I thought about this word, the, the, the part of the scripture, abusers of themselves. You are abusing yourself doing this, man. Destroying yourself. Okay, and 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 it is not it is not the way the Lord commanded us to be. In fact, He commanded us to be a He commanded us a, 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 against being this way, man. Okay, so I just want to touch on that real quick. I don't want to make it too long. I got to get back to work. But I pray it's edifying to the hopeful elect, man. You know, hey, get out of that spirit, man. And if you see somebody else in that spirit, you you, you need to correct them. You may have friends, a family that I, I think I think I want to get a tattoo. We better let their ass know. You know, and whether they hear or they forbear. You know, I have people that tell me, oh, I want to get a tattoo. I want to get a tattoo. I tell them, hey, hey don't do that, man. You know, no, don't, don't, don't do that. You know, you're going you're gonna to regret it. I start, like I said, I start talking, talking, talking like an old lady and shit. But at the end of the day, the, you know, the word must go out, man.
Alright, so with that being said, I'm going to say Shalom, Kwame Shirala, Baba Ball, and on to the next one. Shalom.